Hi, my name is Gwyneth and I'm a parishioner at St. George. I'm in grade 9 and I was confirmed in November 2020, so not that long ago. I was one of those people to be confirmed during coronavirus. I had complicated feelings about the night. It was a beautiful service for what could be done, as is everything produced by St. George. But, of course, it was oddly empty in the church, so it was quite formal. The focus was really on the sacrament itself. So immediately after I was confirmed, I wondered, am I doing this right? Was I supposed to feel enlightened suddenly? But looking back on that night, I realized that how I felt was perfectly okay. With every relationship, there's going to be moments where both members just recognize each other, even subtly. Afterwards, I thought about God a lot. What did God mean to me exactly? So there were a few things that I did that really helped me grow in my faith. Thing number one, find God wherever you can. God is often referred to as the Father, but God is so infinitely powerful and beyond our human ability to understand or personify. So God can be found wherever you look. You might find God in your mother or your brother, maybe a beautiful flower or a night sky. I find the most important place to look for God is in myself, keeping in mind always that there is light inside of me. I have the strength to act on it. This has been a superpower. Every time I choose to do the right thing instead of the easy thing, there's always some kind of payoff, even if that payoff is just peace of mind. Which leads me to... Thing number two, try praying. Prayer has led to genuine change in my life. When I pray for strength in hard situations, I find that it eventually comes. When I pray, I look for God inside myself to ask questions. The mystery and joy of my own aliveness guides me to see the light and love of God. It's okay that we don't understand God. After all, we're humans and limited to our physical existence. Sometimes it's hard for us to imagine that there's more to existence than what we can comprehend. However, we can celebrate this mystery. Jesus came to earth to tell us about God. Which brings me to... Thing number three. Try reading the Gospels. The Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John's take on Jesus' life and words. The takeaway is that our jobs as humans is not to be perfect, but to grow in our souls as we journey to find the Holy Spirit. Even if that sounds super uninteresting, I recommend reading them for the reasons that I started reading them, which is that it's a really interesting story. Jesus talks a lot about loving and accepting all people, doing your best to listen to God, and being forgiving when mistakes are made. Everyone makes mistakes, including the church. It's run by humans after all, but there's so much goodness, love, and community to be found there. Hence, thing number four, get involved in the parish. The more young people who come to the church to explore their faith, the more the parish will evolve and grow in love and acceptance, shaping a stronger community. Who wouldn't want to be a part of such an important and powerful transformation from experience of being part of the church as much as I could through all deserving, the choir, hospitality, and recently the youth group. By the way, there's so much more you can do too. There's lots to explore. I learned that volunteering makes me truly happy and I'm constantly learning and changing in my faith. So, thing number five, question your faith. This is actually an act of compassion to God and also to yourself because to challenge your faith and the teachings is to engage with God and be curious just as you would with any healthy relationship. If someone describes their friend to you and then you meet that friend, you don't have to base your relationship off someone else's description. You get to know that person yourself. It's the same with God. The church, the church has teachings that guide us to do the right thing, but it's okay to interpret the teachings in a way that makes sense to you. So remember to trust your God. Confirmation is a reminder that you are an independent individual who can choose to spread love and acceptance in your own way while keeping in mind that God always has your back.